welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Tuesday. I just got done getting ready for the day. I did a 20 minute Pilates workout this morning, so I feel good. Um, I'm about to go to Trader Joe's so I can get some tulips to put in this vase. Um, this went viral on TikTok shop. I went last week, but I didn't buy any because I didn't think they were ready yet. But looking back at the footage, I'm like, I should have just bought them while I was there and then got the content a couple days later, like now. So now I have to go back, um, but it's just down the street, so it's not a big deal. But I just set up the area where I'm gonna put them. It's cloudy right now, but I hope the sun comes out in a couple of hours and I think it's gonna look really nice with my tulips in there. Then I'll light the candle, maybe put a little bit more jewelry in there to make it look more aesthetic. And when the light hits my disco mushroom, it looks extra cool. I got this bubble letter necklace off TikTok shop too. It's like Hailey Bieber's necklace. It's been trending, but it's a lot smaller. Bubble Bar has one too, but theirs is like $100. It is a little bit bigger than this one. It's closer to Hailey Bieber's, um, but this one was less than $20 and I think it's really cute. I have so much content to film today. That's what I was doing all day yesterday. So TikTok shop is running a spring sale this week. So I'm trying to crank out as many videos as I can. I also have a lot of packages coming in the mail from TikTok shop too. It seems like I'm getting a new package every single day. I have these floating shelves coming in the mail from TikTok shop and I'm not exactly sure where I want to put them. So there's three of them. I'm thinking I could do three right here. Um, I think I'm going to move that neon sign too, or I could do like one on the left, one on the right, and then one right here, but that would just be kind of random, right? I feel like this has to go. These have been here for about two years now and we took some of these pictures and blew them up here. Um, and because this is so new, I feel like this needs to be new too. So I think we're gonna move the neon sign over here above the bar cart, um, if it'll fit. And then we're just gonna take this down and then I need to figure out what I want to put on the floating shelves. We have a boho theme going on in our living room. So I've been on Pinterest looking for inspo. Just seems like a lot of plants, like wooden fixtures. So I might have to go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx at some point. I just changed into something a little bit warmer and more casual because it's 51 degrees right now, so it's freezing. I've never worn this outfit together before, but I kind of like it. I got these cargo pants from Target last season and I think I've worn them maybe once or twice. I just got to TJ Maxx, but I think I'm about to buy this poster off of TikTok shop. I wanna put it like right behind me in my beauty area. If you've been watching my vlogs for a while, then you know I used to have my, what was it called the viral beer challenge that was trending on tiktok a couple of years ago where you pour your man's favorite beer on you in a sexy bikini looking back on it it was a little cringe but now i want to refresh my area i feel like we've just kind of been refreshing our whole apartment i mean we've been there for like five years so i've been into lucky girl syndrome and manifestation for the longest time i mean my screensaver is this it says i'm so lucky everything always works out for me and when i saw that poster i was like oh my gosh i feel like i need that not only does it match my aesthetic perfectly but i love that i would be able to see it and read it subconsciously every single day. I want to get the biggest one and the only thing is I need to buy a frame for it because it doesn't come with a frame and frames are pretty expensive if you didn't know. Um, I could use the same frame that I use for the beer poster challenge. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, the beer poster challenge. Um, I could use that same frame but I want a gold frame. You see this one has like a gold frame and the frame that the beer poster is in is like a brown, I think, like a brassy brown. So it would be a little pricey after everything's said and done because this is $39.90 and then $8 shipping. So call it... 50 bucks. I was looking online and some frames are about 40 to 50 bucks too. So it would be like a hundred dollar poster with everything said and done. I think that's about how much my beer poster challenge was too. That one was a little pricey counting the beer and the poster and the print and everything, but I really want it. So I think I'm going to get it. I hope it looks this good in person though. So these are the sizes for reference. I thought I wanted to get the biggest one, but next to this couch, I'm like, this one would even be fine. All right, I'm about to get the biggest one because there's like a $10 difference from the smaller one to the biggest one. So go big or go home. It's $51.37. Oh, I used the wrong card. No. <laughs> it's $51.37 after taxes and everything. So 
Yeah, this is going to be like a $100 poster. I hope I love it just as much in person. And if I don't, it says there's free return. So it's letting me change my payment method. So, all right, we got it. Another treat yourself moment with Angel Clark. <laughs> I feel like this happens way too often. Every vlog, I'm like, I'm going to save money. I'm not going to buy anything. And then how did we end up here? I don't know. It's going to be worth it though. Like I said, this is for my mental health. Okay. I finally took that beer poster down like two weeks ago. I had it hanging for like almost two years now. I was super proud of it, but now I'm like, okay, let's put that in the closet and hide it away. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Let's go see if TG Maxx has any boho stuff that I can put on these shelves and then we'll go to Trader Joe's. I'm looking at all of these plants and I can see this going really nice with the boho theme. So these are two different types of plants though. I think I like this one more, but I'm torn because I really like this one too. $10. So there's some like floating shelves over here. So I'm not sure how deep the ones I have coming in the mail are, but it kind of looks nice, right? I mean, it won't be this black thing right here, but I think that'll look nice. Is it too big though? <laughs> I don't know. I'm obsessed with lavender, but this thing is just way too heavy. It's so pretty. This could be cute hanging in the corner above the couch. I'm obsessed with these booty bases. I already have a bigger one in my bathroom. I feel like this could look cute in the living room maybe or even on one of the shelves. But which way do you display it? This way or the booty way, right? I should have got a cart. Hee <laughs> hee, I found one. I want one of these too. I just came to Home Goods and look at these lavender peak plants. I don't know if I like these more. It's like a lot more green in them. I just came to at home because they have a bunch of pretty fake flowers and I just filled this vase. I kind of like it. I think I'm gonna get these three. So I already have some of these in a different vase at home. I like these because they have short stems. I feel like these are really hard to find. I don't know if I should put this in it too. Does that look weird? Okay, I found some baby succulents and I think I like this more, but I don't know what I want to put in it. I know I definitely want these things hanging off the side. And I found, this is like the last one. It's like a little bent, but if I can like make it look like a flower, that could be cute. Mm. Or maybe no flower succulent and just have it like that. Whoop. Yeah. Maybe keep it simple. I like these too. This one's super heavy. I just got to Trader Joe's to pick up some tulips and they look way worse than when I came the other day. So I should have just grabbed them when I came the last time, but it's fine. I'm gonna go to the Fresh Market and see if they have some um, and then probably pick up a few things while I'm there. I found some and these are cheaper, $7. I just trimmed them and put them in and I think I only needed to get one. I wasn't sure if the vase was big enough to fit two or not. Now I'm wondering if I should add some white ones in there for a pop of color or not. Oh my gosh, this is so tough. Decisions, decisions, but they look so freaking pretty. And then I just bought this from TJ Maxx, so I just put it right there. I think it looks really good. I just love fake plants everywhere. All right, and the lady said that these don't need any flower food, so... Oh my goodness, it's happening. It's a little bit too close to the, where we go. Move this one, oop. I'm like, they're so delicate. I got these a lot later in the day than I wanted to because the sun is not hitting right here right now. It's like over here. So I think I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to get my content because I want that natural daylight. But look how freaking pretty that looks. I need to make two reels with these outfits from Lulu's. I got some content in them this weekend, but I wasn't wearing the shoes because we went to a garden and we did a lot of walking. So I'm about to get some content wearing the shoes so you can get the whole vibe. The sun just disappeared for good and it's been in and out this whole time. So this filming process was super annoying, but I tried to keep my cool. 
Um, I think I got the shots that I need and right now I'm going to edit it so I can submit everything for approval. Everything is due tomorrow but I want to get everything edited and submitted by tonight so I don't have to worry about it because I have so many other things to film. I just got this PR package in the mail from Whip Shots. This is Cardi B's brand and she came out with a new flavor. It's strawberry so my husband and I are going to try it right now. I guess they're collaborating with the Museum of Ice Cream. Unfortunately there's not one in our area but I've always wanted to go to one. This is so cute. It came with the hat and little ice cream scooper. It says it's perfect on everything from ice cream and cake to milkshakes galore. Ooh. It says it's the ultimate topping for your creamiest cravings. All right, let's try it. We're about to go for a walk, but I want to try this first. Okay, you do you first. Ooh, is it strong? Your face. What, too strong? Oh, it tastes nasty. Does it taste like alcohol? Tastes like, I don't know, you tell me. It doesn't really taste like alcohol, no. Maybe I didn't mix it enough. Ugh. Really? It tastes horrible. Mm. Wow. Yeah. How would you describe it? Chemicals. Chemicals, right? It tastes, it tastes super chemically. Ugh. <gasps> It's Wednesday about seven o'clock. My husband and I started tackling this wall because our floating shelves came in. So we took down our neon sign. We just went in with some magic eraser because the wall was super stained up. And then I went and filled some holes. Um, we're about to put the floating shelves up right now, but I also got my lamp in the mail last night and we set that up and then I hung my plant. I think it looks so good. Initially I was like, mm, I'm not sure about the plant. I feel like I could have gotten a bigger one but I think it's starting to look good. I love this lamp because it goes with our boho theme and it's perfect for reading. Everything is coming together so nicely. Yeah. So like, I see like right here, right? Yeah, maybe like just try to like, cause that's too far out. Right? It's about two hours later and we finally got the shelves up. It looks so good. My vision came to life. And we ended up putting the neon sign in our bedroom. So we put it up here because we didn't know where else to put it in our apartment, but I think it looks great up there. I just didn't want to put it in the closet and hide it away. I love this sign. Happy Thursday. I just got to Marshall's. I haven't been here in a while. I always go to TJ Maxx. I feel like it's a little bit closer to me. Um, but I saw this top go viral on TikTok and it's like this floral print corset and it's freaking gorgeous and it's only like $5.99 so I'm like I need to come and try to find this because if I wait any longer then it's just not going to be here anymore so I hope I find it fingers crossed everyone is finding it at Marshall's and if something's at Marshall's it's usually at TJ Maxx too um, so we'll see how lucky I get. I didn't remember to look for this specific top when I was at TJ Maxx the other day, so it could have been there, but I saw it pop up on my For You page and I was like, wait a minute, let's go to Marshall's right now. So that's what I'm doing here. And then there's an Ulta right next door. So I'm going to go over there and get some new nail stickers. I really love these ones, but these, for some reason, they're like lifting. My hair is getting caught in them. You know that feeling when you have overgrown acrylics? It's disgusting. So I want to grab some new designs. I usually always get them from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but I'm like, you know what? It's about time we step up our nail game and start getting them from Ulta because they have the best newest designs. So that's what I'm going to do. That's where I got these ones from. If you watched my last couple of vlogs, um, then you'll know that I went with Alexis to get these. And I love these ones. I'm just disappointed with the fact that they're lifting. These are like the ones that I normally get, but they're a little bit different. There was like something different about them. Um, and I think whatever that difference is, like, I'm just going to make sure to not get that one when I go. I'm just going to stick to the one I normally get. My Caseify phone charm broke, like, last week, and I was super upset. So, like, I posted about it on Instagram and tagged them. Shameless. And they were nice enough to respond, and they sent me a new one. Um, I bought it less than a year ago, back in July. They told me their warranty is only good for six months, but they're like, we'll make an exception for you. And I was like, thank you so much. But I'm like, six months? It literally broke like less than a year. So what does that tell me about the quality? I mean, this was $40, okay? It's not cheap. Like I could have gotten a cheap one on Amazon and I wasn't even being like super rough with it or anything like that. And I try not to hold it by the lanyard when I don't have to, just for that reason. Like I always make sure to hold my phone. I'm not like always dangling it on here. 
anyways so it just snapped and broke and um yeah that was super nice of them to send me a new one so i'm just gonna put this on real quick and oh my god the whip shots they're disgusting i'm sorry to say like i wanted to keep it because it's cardi b's brown i mean look at me i'm wearing her freaking hat that she sent me what does it say um museum of ice cream just because it kind of matches my vibe today i love the color of it but I think I might even throw this hat away because it's just Museum of Ice Cream. I've never been to the Museum of Ice Cream. Why do I have this hat on? <laughs> I like it because of the colors, but I'm like, I think I'm just going to get rid of this. But I at least wanted to wear it once before I threw it out. I felt really bad throwing out the whipped cream, but I'm like, it's disgusting. Like, who am I going to give it to? Plus, my husband and I already like sprayed it straight into our mouths. So that wouldn't have been sanitary. Look how cute this is. It has a matching jean jacket. I want to get this, but I don't need it. These are the ones that I'm wearing right now and they started to lift. These are the, the glow. Yeah, so I guess I don't want to get the glow if these are going to lift. These are so cute. I couldn't find the viral top. I feel like I was looking through the clothes for like a good 30 minutes, maybe longer. I tried my best to find it, but I had no luck. So I ended up finding a throw blanket for our living room because we want to get rid of that black one. It just throws off the vibe. I bought the black one to match our previous couch that we had. So I think we're just going to wash that and then put it away for when we have guests. And then I ended up getting this cute pink and orange top. This is uh, Jessica Simpson's brand. And this was on sale for $13 um, from $16.99. So a couple of bucks, nothing too crazy, but I love this color combo. And I saw this on Amazon, an influencer was wearing this and I wanted to get it, but it was sold out. And when it was listed on Amazon, it was like going for like 40 bucks maybe. You know how Amazon is just overpriced as heck. So I'm like, that's a steal and it's a good brand. So I'm excited to wear this. I love the neon colors. This hat is hurting my head. I don't know if it's because I'm breaking it in right now, but I have a major headache. So I'm going to throw this away as soon as I get home. I have hat hair right now. That's why I'm not going to show you what's under here because it's not cute right now. But I'm going to go home and edit some more content. Um, the gloomy weather the past two days has just been really making me feel like a little depressed. You know what I'm saying? Seasonal depression is real and I've been feeling it. I thought we were in spring, but it doesn't really feel like it at the moment. Happy Friday. I just finished filming my spring makeup routine since I have a few new products from TikTok shop. I wanted to update it. And plus, I haven't done one in a while. The sun is out today, but it keeps disappearing i do want to try to get some content while it's out i got these two things in the mail from tiktok shop yesterday how cute is this picnic basket i was going to order this one i think this is probably the same exact one off of amazon but i saw it on tiktok shop and i was able to get free samples so i was like holler i'm trying to save that money but i plan on going and getting some picnic content i don't think i'm going to do it today because it looks pretty windy out i want to wait until it warms up a little bit more but this dress is from princess polly and look how cute this goes together i didn't even plan that so i'm really happy because this is a whole look right here i didn't even have to try i'm wearing my new top that i got yesterday i thought it was a medium but when i was cutting the tags i saw that it's a large and i'm really happy that i ended up getting this large because i love an oversized fit and i'm obsessed with this top i just love this pink shade right here especially with the orange the combination it's super cute so i think i want to get some content in this i don't know what it is but i cannot keep my flowers alive by any means every time i get flowers whether it's i'm buying them myself or my husband buys them for me they die within a matter of days look at my beautiful tulips they're dead i don't know what i did i honestly didn't even do anything like i was about to change the water but I trimmed them before putting them in here. I gave them fresh filtered water. Like I didn't add any flower food. I don't know if I can save these or not, but it just doesn't really look like it. So that was a waste. I mean, I'm glad I got the content when it was gloomy, but my white ones are dead too. Like you don't even want to see them. They're just 
They look worse than those ones right now. I just drove down the street because I want to get some content in my car. And my inspo is this pick right here. This is Delaney. I love her. She has all the cutest pics, all the cutest outfits. I just admire her. So I'm like, I'm going to try to copy her pose. She makes this pose look so freaking easy. Every time I try to do this pose, I think I'm just too tall for it because it just feels super uncomfortable. looks a little weird. I feel like my pants turn into high waters and <laughs> anyways i think i'm just too tall for this but i'm gonna try to make it work it's been a while since i've gotten some content in my car i brought my tripod and i'm just gonna do a video and zoom out that's how i always do it Ugh. it actually looks really good because of the pop of color on my sweater I got the shot. Now I'm going to go home and edit this vlog so I can have it up by Sunday, which is Easter. My husband and I don't have any special plans. I'm going to end the vlog here and start another one so it's not too long. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're following me on all social platforms and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.